today, we will learn about percentage. Here, we have three yellow cars and two blue cars. If we consider a total of five cars as a whole, then what part of the total cars do the yellow cars constitute? Think for a while. You've got it right. There are three yellow coloured cars out of the total five cars. Hence, their share will be 3 by 5. If we have to represent this fraction in a square of 100 equal parts, then how will we do it? We will find an equivalent fraction to 3 by 5 whose denominator is 100. For this, we will multiply both the numerator and denominator of the fraction 3 by 5 by 20 to get 60 by 100. Now, we will shade 60 parts out of 100 equal parts. In this way, we have represented 3 by 5 in squares of 100 equal parts. Here, 60 is the numerator of a fraction whose denominator is 100. The numerator of a fraction whose denominator is 100 is called percent. We write it this way and we read it as 60 percent. But 60 by 100 is also read as 60 hundredths. Meaning of hundredths is out of a hundred. If we use the word hundredths or percentage, it means per one hundred or out of a hundred. In this way, sixty hundredths or sixty percent means sixty out of a hundred. Since the numerator here also expresses the parts taken out of hundred, we can say that the percent represents the parts taken out of a total of hundred equal parts. Now let's find out how to find percent in mathematics. Suppose a bag contains 5 red balls, 6 blue balls and 9 yellow balls. Let us find the percent of balls of each colour. First, we will find the total number of balls. Here the sum of 5 plus 6 plus 9 is 20. That is, out of 20 there are 5 red balls which we will represent with fraction 5 by 20. Similarly, can you tell me how you will represent the total number of blue and yellow balls in the fraction? Think about it. Absolutely right. 6 out of 20 are blue balls, so it can be written as 6 by 20 and 9 out of 20 are yellow balls and can be written in the form of fraction 9 by 20. First, out of the total balls, let us find the percent of red balls. For this, we will have to convert 5 by 20 fraction into its equivalent fraction whose denominator is 100. Think about how we will do this. Let me explain. We will multiply both the numerator and the denominator of 5 by 20 by 5. By doing this, we will get an equivalent fraction of 5 by 20 that is 25 by 100. Percent is the numerator of the fraction whose denominator is 100. In this fraction 25 by 100, the denominator is 100 and the numerator 25, so we will call it 25% and write it like this. There is another method for conversion. We will understand that while finding the percent of blue balls. Here, the fraction of blue balls is 6 by 20. We will multiply both its numerator and denominator by 100. Since we are multiplying the numerator and denominator by the same number, the value of the fraction will not change. Now, we can write it as 6 into 100 by 20 into 1 by 100. 1 by 100 means a percent which we will represent by this symbol. On solving it, we will find that the blue balls are 30% of the total balls. This method is very effective in situations where there is a difficulty in converting the denominator of a fraction to 100. For example, to express 4 by 15 as a percent, we will multiply 4 by 15 into 100 by 100, which is equal to 4 into 100 by 15 into 1 by 100, which is equal to 400 by 15 percent, which is equal to 26 2 by 3 percent. In this way, you must have understood by now how we express a fraction in percent. Now, will you be able to find the percent of yellow balls? 
try it for yourself. Today, we learn percentage. In the next video, we will understand this concept better with some more examples.